What's up everyone, I'm Redtail and this is the drive home. Welcome back to it, I guess. It's been fucking however, however many months editing me, put it here. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Uh, it is now September. So however long that is, it it's way down, down the line in the future now. Uh, so tonight I worked at one of my old stomping grounds, the first place I ever worked at uh, on Brunswick Street, a place called or for short. And uh, it's changed a lot. When I say a lot, it used to be a nightclub. Uh, now it's just a gig room. It's just a band room now. Which was a very different uh, crowd that was there. It used to be like all essentially 18 to 23 year olds. And now it's just a bunch of fucking old people that want to relive when, oh, when tickets used to be five bucks at the door and you could spend the whole night there, but now they're like ten, fifteen dollars at the door. It's like, oh, it's too expensive. Which Hence why only older people can afford them because us young bucks don't have any money to spend because we blow it all on coke, ciggies, booze, and weed. But, uh, yeah, probably want to probably one of the easiest shifts I've done. I'm not going to say the easiest shift I've done because I've already made that claim. Uh, this is definitely one of the easiest shifts I've done though. And quite a few of the guards that I worked with there no longer work there. They've um, been moved on to other locations because it's just so, it died so hard there. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny joke I guess. There's only one guy there now, a guy by the name of but he's been there for fucking forever since one of my mentors one of the people that bought me the person that bought me into the the security industry fold essentially the, or the the nightlife security fold was there before he was which is in it's insane to think about so he's been there a really long time and i did try and do a follow-on at but the place was just had like the the wood boards shut so i was like oh that's really early, considering it's only like, now it's only 2 o'clock. When I drove past there, it was probably like 1.30, 20 past 1, something like that. And I was like, wow, that's really early. So they must have had either a private show or something has happened in the area. Because shut as well. Which was, it's not like them, so... Shuts 2 o'clock in the morning on a Friday, which is... I guess that's early. It's early for what it is on a like a Saturday Sunday. But yeah, the only places that I saw open were like and a couple of the other places on Commercial Road. Yeah, so a couple of other places. Tomorrow night should be an inter uh, interesting shift though because we didn't get many footy fans here considering the outcome of it because Adelaide won and Port Adelaide won and Hawthorne lost which was pretty close but not close enough that's a bullshit lie I think it was like a five to seven point difference <laughs> anyway that's been tonight I'm working <laughs> tomorrow night that that should be a better shift tonight was only four hours because I as I said I tried doing the follow-on there was nothing there, so it's like, ah, it sucks, it's only four hours, but I guess i got to work with what I what I can. Alright, so it is now Sunday morning, 2.30. Uh, just finished a shift at So I started, my main supervisor, he was off tonight, he was organising a, uh, he not only had a family event on, but was also organising a shoot that I'm meant to be in with a couple of the other boys, I think, later on either this week or next week so he was busy doing that so essentially i was pulling supervisor tonight which is really weird i've never done that you shouldn't give that responsibility to a rookie either so i worked from seven until close i was gonna leave earlier because the venue manager the new guy has asked asked like, i need to let a guard go and there was another one there that was feeling a bit crook uh even from last night so it's like ah yeah, he can go home. But there was a scare there because I thought he started at 9, but it turns out it was at 8.30. So this is around quarter past 12, 12.30. And no, he's got to stay. He's only done three and a half hours. By like by your uh, your award, you need to work four hours. 
It's like, I just called him as he was leaving. He's like, nah, bro, I signed on at 8.30. He got there later than that. Because tonight was fucked. And when I say that, when I was there, so I started at 7, right? So it was still the dinner rush. So that meant that there was a bunch of people there for dinner, and then there was also people coming in that were essentially preloading before they went further into the city, into the, uh, into the better nightclubs. And so I was there by myself. 8 o'clock comes around, there's meant to be another guard had to be there, right? No fucking show. No show. I text my boss. And I say, it's like, is there another guard starting at 8 or is it 8.30? He said, <laughs> meant to be there at 8 o'clock. And I said, well, no show as of yet. And I said, is there another one at 9? He said, yeah, there'll be, um, uh, he said at 9 o'clock. I was like, oh, that's cool. That, that's fine. He usually shows up. So, 8.30, still no sign of <laughs> And I actually call him and I say, Yo, bro, there's no sign of him there here, and there's 150 people growing, and it's only, it's, like, not even 9 o'clock. It's, like, it's going to, like, really fill up. We need more guards. And he's like, all right, I'll try and send someone over. And luckily, uh, one of the guys, I've worked with this older gentleman before. He's been, ar he's been around the fucking block so many times. Uh, he was working over on Chapel at... And so he came over, which was, was a big help. So I don't, I don't think he went and fo I don't think he followed on to anywhere else. He just probably went home as well. I tried going to, to see if they needed a hand, but they're like, no, nope. we're we're full up with of guards, and there's not really a, like there was people in there, but it's like they obviously just had enough guards for that evening. Anywho, that has been the weekend. It was rather dull, actually, actually. Which is what you want some weekends, especially this one is fucking freezing my balls off. I thought last night was like, oh, this is cold for coming into spring. Tonight was, oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad, which is I'm glad I had my merino top underneath. It's a shame that I wanted to at least get 15 hours this week. I, only got, I think I'll only get maybe around 10 or 11 hours. Anywho. That has been the drive home. Uh, so I am going to try and continue this series. I am going to start it back again. Uh, just I took a really long time off because I was getting... wasn't even bored. I just got really lazy. And the more and more I put put off doing it, then I just was like, oh, I, I'm not going to go back to that because no one's going to watch it. But, I mean, I like it. Anywho, I've got pizza waiting for me. Cold pizza, but it doesn't matter. No, no, nonetheless, pizza anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!